someone concerned about your future fertility, I would let you know this first and foremost. If you got COVID-19 and ended up landing in the hospital, needing oxygen, etc., damage to your lungs, damage to your heart, that has a way more negative impact on your future chances of successful and safe pregnancy. Also, in fact, the risk of miscarriage, the risk of pregnancy loss is high from COVID-19 infection itself and not from the vaccine. We had information on prior versions of the coronavirus, particularly this type of coronavirus to inform us. And certainly that was what we built on for not only our clinical information, but for designing our vaccine. It's also part of why we were able to sequence the code of this SARS-CoV-2 virus so quickly, because we were quickly able to compare it to the older uh, coronavirus outbreaks, look at the code, see what was different, and hence the word SARS-CoV-2, which distinguishes this current outbreak from the one that we saw in 2003. There is a rumor that was started, that circulated, suggesting that the spike protein for the coronavirus actually is identical to a protein called syncytin-1, which is one of the proteins on the placenta. And there was a suggestion that those antibodies against the spike protein can then go on to attack the pregnancy. However, that is completely flawed. It's not based on science, and it actually isn't based on how antibodies work. The truth is, this is based on historical reference when it comes to research trials. Someone who is pregnant, they're considered to be high risk for exploitation. So we first have to not only determine safety of the vaccine candidate, um, safety in humans, but we have to establish that before we use it in someone who's pregnant. They've since now been included, and certainly people who received the vaccine went on to achieve pregnancy and deliver babies. So it's safe to get the vaccine while you're breastfeeding. And similarly, if you got the vaccine while pregnant, which is our recommendation, it actually helps you prepare antibodies that can not only cross the placenta and now protect your unborn baby and help them have an immunity against COVID-19 once they're born, but it'll also continue to be present in your breast milk if you're either lactating and breastfeeding or lactating and pumping.